Hi Georgia, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for December 8th until 14th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Mm. Oh, Virgo. Looks like you feel like you're being under attack. By some people, especially your own interest or your own livelihood. And you don't quite know what to do. Hmm. And actually at this point, there are some people who's been ganging up on you, bullying you, or playing around with you, or playing games with you. Most of you are having some problems with your job right now and you don't quite know what to do. He can't just resign because obviously he needs something to fill up before you let go of that. Now, most of you are looking for a new job or are looking for a new position, new offer opportunities, or some of you are just plainly looking for growth and development because you're just too sick and tired of sitting in one corner and you know, like you feel like nothing's happening in your in your job, in your work. You feel like everyone's pretty much moving except you and okay and you want to create those changes yourself okay now you've already learned your lesson in the past and now you're ready to begin again however the, the main challenge for you right now starting this week will be trusting the wrong people Trusting the people that appears or present themselves as a friend or somebody that you can trust to. But the thing here is, there will be a lot of people that will be coming your way for the wrong reason, for the wrong intention, and at the wrong time. I also feel like most of you will also be having some problems with somebody that you're with. I mean, this person has been like dragging you and been like... You know, like uh, letting you float and get on uh, with uh, Cloud9 and giving you a lot of hopes and dreams. And it's like there are also a lot of promises, especially getting married, being together, you know, for a certain period of time and growing together. But it seems like this person's just too full of promises, but they don't have any, you know, intention of fulfilling it. Now, you will be discovering that this week because you were under the impression that the two of you are on the same page, but unfortunately, it's just all naysays, or it's just you who's in love with your partner, or it's just you who's more into your relationship because there will be some betrayals that you will be discovering and there will also be some lies. Now, despite of this, you will try to be, you'll try to remain headstrong and still look at the positive side you feel like there's still hope and there's still you know things that you still need to do together that they are you know it, it's still repairable there are still a lot more things that you can tolerate and that things could somehow you know work on still the thing here is you look into your partner for what they could become not for who they really are right now and this is the main problem here, because you're hoping for them to become somebody that you expect them to be, not for who they already are right now. Now, right in the middle of the week, you will be feeling a little bit defensive. You will also be feeling so, you know, like um, a little bit dried. Or for you, it's like things are just getting much more and more difficult and harder for you to tolerate this because the fights, the arguments, exchange of words, the gestures, behavior, and attitude and treatment that you be that you will be getting from your partner will be something that's kind of unbearable already. Okay, you will also be planning a trip, or you're going to be going on a trip within the next two days, two weeks, or two months, and you are kind of looking for a change the time that you come back. Okay, or the time that you get back from your trip, but. It seems like this is the time that you will also be making that grand exit because 
you want to see some new beginnings. You've been looking for a job. You've been looking for a new position. You, you're Some of you are also looking for a new house or for a new place to live in. Because you feel like the place that you're in right now doesn't really serve you well or it's, you know, it has already served its purpose and you're looking for a new, new horizon. Okay, brand new journey or challenge for you. Now... You will just try to wear your defense against other people. You'll also try to wear a mask that everything's okay, you're okay, you're not hurting, you're not bleeding, you're not, you know. You're going to try and show them that everything's going to be okay. But then at the end of this, you know, at the, en at the end of this week, you will come to realize that everything that you've been trying to, you know, to hold off or trying to not to confront will just keep on biting you and eating you up. It's just going to take a toll on you. And this is also the time where you will finally be letting go of your anger or of your emotions about the the issue of your partner have of having someone else. Okay? You thought that this person is actually the one or the one that they're going to be that you're going to be ending up with or that you're going to be spending the rest of your life with as before. It was only you and your partner and you know everything's been okay everything's been good and you thought that your partner was happy with you but like what i said it just turns out that you are the only one who's so into this relationship and not your partner so you're not really in the same page and the promise of tomorrow of being together or promise of marriage or spending the rest of your life together um, you feel like, will it just be a memory or will it still happen in the future? But there are a lot of things that the two of you have to figure out, have to discuss, and have to shape up. Now, what are the real feelings and intentions and thinking of your partner right now? They're kind of confused at the moment that they're also trying to gain some balance insights some logic i also feel like they're kind of looking into moving into a new place or new a uh, new house and it seems like they you know it's like um they feel so confined and there are a lot of blockages right now that's standing right in front of them but given a chance that they can will out the changes that they want to see in their life they're gonna move so will there still be a chance for the two of you to fix things up i feel like there is but right now i feel like the reason why this is happening is because you need to focus on yourself and you need to focus on your success finances because you know in the past you've been like sacrificing your you know your um your career and your other possibilities because of this relationship because you know like uh you've been putting your all into this relationship because you, you're so happy with your partner okay and you thought that everything was okay but it just turns out that your partner is not really telling you the truth and there are a lot of deceptions and lies and you know like uh, pretensions so Everything else will be very confusing for you. And it's like you will try to recall everything right from the very beginning. All of their wordings. Because right now it doesn't really match up to how they're going to be treating you. Like, why is it that all of a sudden they've changed? You know, like, who's behind it? When did it happen? How? And why? You know, like, what have you done? Or... Like, is there something else that's missing in you? You know? Um, I feel like if you will just try to be stronger, try to remain patient and calm, because I feel like it's not going to be that easy for you to do that. Um, you will still try and stay. And you will still try and forgive. Oh, 
interested in giving this relationship a second chance, but fortunately, it's your partner who's going to be moving away. And the time that they move away, you're going to cut them off. So, the big question here is what went wrong? Mm. I feel like your partner will try to raise this, you know, this thing with you that you did not even notice that they are no longer happy with you or that there are a lot of things that's been missing. But you just kept on going and going and going and going and without even noticing that there are, you know, that there are a lot of changes that's been occurring in your relationship and you feel like, you know, it's nothing or it's just normal. So, they're not going to be blaming you, but... It seems like this relationship is only like, um, if you've been together for like 18 months or 18 years, this is just like a phase that it's if you have to make because you're both burned out. Your partner has been burned out and it seems like the two of you needs to have a break. But if you've been together for only for a short while, eight months or eight weeks, and then I feel like this is, you know, just take it as a sign. Um, right after this separation, this final separation, if the two, if your partner will be moving away and you're going to be cutting them off, I don't see any reconciliation in the future. All right. But your finances, I feel like it's going to get better. And, well, it will take up around a few more months or a few more weeks. No, actually a few more weeks right after the holidays. This is where all the opportunities will be coming your way. And there is something that you need to avoid out of your life or avoid out of your space to make new or to make way for a new energy and for a new mm, for a new phenomenon in your life. You know? Things happen for a reason. And I feel like, you know, in each and every thing that occurs in our lives, there's always a reason behind it. And it's, you know, one thing's for sure is that it's for renewal or it's for some brand new beginnings. It's for our own growth. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this week, uh, Virgo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live the calls, just go and visit me at my website at tvangel.net. Blessings to you.